Well, hello, my YouTube friends. How are you? It's been a hot minute. Um, I know you miss me because you've been writing me <laughs> to do more readings, and I do apologize for not being on. Um, some of it was actually not in my control. Um, for those that don't know who I am, my name is Yasmin. I'm a spiritual healer. Um, I'm, a, as you can say, if, well, at this point, I might as well just say I'm psychic. I'm a psychic reader. And um, I'm a lot of other things, okay? I'm not going to go into it. But anyways, um, I miss you guys so much. I haven't been able to actually come on to YouTube because there's been YouTube drama. I don't know if you've read my community tab, but um, I've gotten striked twice already with YouTube and um, I haven't been able to I've been restricted so who knew that the modern-day witch hunt would come back right instead of getting burned at the stake you're actually burned on social media and restricted and restricted of your voice which is a modern-day hanging right blocking the throat chakra so when that happens, you know, you guys know I work with past life and clearing and all that stuff. You know, when that happens, it's actually a karmic thing, always coming back until it's resolved. So I say, what kind of karma do I have with YouTube and Facebook? And I did a clearing on myself. Interesting stuff came up. So, but you know, which is we ain't going away. Any, we're not going any, we're not going away anytime soon. Matter of fact, which is are winning right now. So, with that being said, um, I'm back and uh, I will be announcing what I will be doing with this channel. I don't know if I'm going to continue this channel. Um, I may just keep it and post, you know, readings and stuff like that. But um, YouTube decided that they don't want me. They've been shadow banning me for a couple years now. Don't want me to even grow. Don't want me to prosper. Don't want me to move forward. There's not much I can do on this channel. So I will be creating another one probably, okay? And I will announce that. As you know, I have a Rumble account that I post all my controversial um, stuff on. Um, and so I will be putting that controversial stuff on there. The readings. Um, I will not be silenced, okay? I'm here to... My mission on earth is to speak truth. And if people don't like it, I don't give a shit, okay? All right. All right, so we're going to be doing, sorry for that announcement, you guys, but I had a, I, some of you haven't even heard from me, you don't even know what the hell's going on. So that's what's been going on. And I just got back from my fabulous trip to Belize, from Belize, and uh, I was in Mexico, and um, reconnecting with my Mexican roots, because we're like the best healers in the whole world. Yes, we are. Um, so I was, you know, reconnecting with my people down there. And, um, what else? Oh, it's Mexican, um, it's Day of the Dead over there. A lot of celebrations, really cool stuff. And, uh, I had a fabulous time. So, with that being said, I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys on Dia de los, um, Dia de los Muertos. Woo! On La Llorona, okay? Because it was interesting. I was down in Belize and they were telling me some, I was staying in a resort where there was actually sightings of like Yorona, like literally everyone in the resort told me uh that that resort is haunted okay uh and that there's sightings of uh elementals duendes leprechauns pretty much and um the Yorona uh is heard and seen on the property which was pretty cool considering it's almost halloween and uh what do you call it so i th i mean i was fascinated with the llorona i know that's a, a mexican uh, legend i know it's all over latin america as well um but in mexico we make a big deal of the llorona and uh um we even have you know music and everything about her and i never really got into la llorona but after you know hearing about her i decided you know what why don't i do a video a reading on who, if she even existed, you know, where did this legend come from? I mean, Mexico is really huge on um, Llorona, and I think it's, she, so basically, the legend goes is that she drowned her children, 
and then she's now cursed to be searching for them for the rest of her life, right? I mean, her life, her afterlife. Um, searching for her children, you can hear her crying and all that stuff. But I want to know who she was. I want to know why she did that. I don't know what's going on here. So I was like, okay, is that a legend? Is that real? What happened? So that's why I'm doing a reading right now. I did ask for protection because I don't want no Yorona in my energy space. I don't know who she is, okay? And even though I work with entities and I know how to clear them and exercise them, I'm not trying to deal with no Yorona right now. So, um, but that being said, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start this reading, and we're gonna be looking into who exactly was a Yorona. Is it real? Um, and what happened? Okay, I, I've heard of the legend many times. It's old school. I mean, it's told to us when we're children to scare the shit out of us. But is it real? And what was the story? Okay, so I know, I know I know Hollywood made this whole video or movie on the curse of the, of the Yorona and all that stuff. So, all right. All right, so let's take a look at Yorona. So actually, by looking at these cards, I kind of, it kind of is uh, looking like it's pretty legit, uh, the story. It appears to be, I'm getting the, I'm getting like 17, 18, um, I'm getting like 1800s here, like maybe 300 years ago or 200 years ago. I don't know why. I'm, I'm feeling like an old energy here. Like um, maybe in the 1800s this happened. Could be 1700s, 1800s. It's like around that time period. Okay, so tapping in. Um, I do see here. Okay, so I'm getting like a mountain. I'm, I'm actually not even looking at the cards. I'm actually tapping into my third eye right now. I'm seeing some sort of countryside, mountains. I don't know where this is at. This could be Mexico. This could be Latin America. I'm almost sensing it's it's somewhere in Mexico, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm seeing like period clothing here. I'm seeing a woman that has mental illness, okay? She has mental illness. It runs in her family. And there's some sort of substance abuse with her. There is two children. I'm seeing two children here. She's very clinged on to the past is what I, what I keep feeling with her. Even now in spirit, she's stuck on the past. She cannot move forward. There's something that she wants to resolve. And I should do a clearing on her. <laughs> I clear all this stuff from the soul so I can, soul can move on. Um, so this is a six of cups here. Okay, so I'm, I'm feeling like this is her children right here. The two kids. Yeah, she did drown them. And I keep seeing a lot of water. So this is actually pretty legit. The death here. So she did kill her kids by a river. I see water here. Okay. This kept her mental. Is there something wrong with her? I feel like, I feel like, yeah, she see she's bound to the, to the rivers, to the earth here. She hasn't been able to move forward. She doesn't know how to move forward. Seems to be she appears more to men because she has a vengeance here is what I'm hearing. Because a man did her wrong. A man abandoned her and left her stuck and stranded. She was not normally well. She wasn't well. She had some sort of mental illness that ran in her family. I do see here that she travels a lot. And she is by the river. She had some sort of postpartum depression when having children. Like, people don't understand that these illnesses exist even back then. Like, she had, I, kept, I keep hearing postpartum depression. And if, if you see her right here, she's, she's very sad. She's very, she, ha, she had a lot of depression already as a young woman. 
and mental illness. She had severe mental illness, some sort of mental illness. Okay. But, you know, back then they were religious, they were superstitious about anything, you know, everything was the devil and, you know, that type of energy. Yeah, she is, she'd always be by the river. So she was, um, she was actually attracted to large bodies of water. She really liked, so water seems to be something that the spirits gravitate. They, uh, it's a portal for spirit energy anyways. So water is always, see, it's like right by the river. So she did drown her children. Actually, this is pretty legit. See? Her children by the river. She did. She dunked them in. Look at that. Oof. Um, yeah, death. She instantly regretted it, though, because I'm getting a sense that um, she she had some sort of moment of anger okay so there's some sort of something that came over her it's due to a relationship here and there was a third party so this person this man that was um he actually left her for another woman or there was some sort of third some sort of third party now mind you guys i don't know the legend that well i don't know the details about la llorona i've heard of it i mean i've, I've heard the legend yeah she drowned her kids yeah you know like but even as a child growing up with, you know, Mexican family, um, I never really got into the legend of La, of La Llorona. It is until actually recent days that I've actually kind of like looked into what, you know, what's up with Llorona, like who was she? And there was not that much information that I found other than just like legends and stuff. But, you know, legends are legends, but I want to know the truth. Did this woman really exist? Did this really happen? You know? So, uh, okay, so I'm getting also, okay, so she had some sort of religious, she was super religious, or there was, uh, maybe her family was super religious, let's see, let's see if Spirit can clarify this for me, Spirit, please clarify the hair font, please, so, killing, kill, okay, so if she were to kill her children, according to the church, you're damned, like, you are damned, you're going to hell, you know, it's like an ultimate crime. Okay, so, okay. I mean, it's an ultimate crime now, right? If you kill your children. But, I mean, I'm, we're talking about, like, you're a cast, you're cast out of the village type of thing. And, like, you're, you know, throwing stones at you and stuff. Okay, so who was... Why is the hair font here? Spirit for La Llorona, please. Either she was, her family was... See, it's almost like she realized what she did. Like, I don't know. I just feel like there's something not right with her. Like, she could have been ment like mentally ill. See? Look at that. It's like she's wandering around looking for her children. So... For how long did she have to do this, Spirit? Okay, so it's not for eternity. It's actually for 800 years um, is what I'm hearing. So she will um, she will actually uh, be forgiven here. She will be reunited. See? All the dead resurrected coming back. It's almost like maybe she finds her children at last or she gets forgiven and she reincarnates so the hair font yeah she was it's something to do with religion like feeling like she's damned like to go to hell because she killed her children obviously it's a crime obviously nobody wants to you know it's bad to kill your children i'm not saying you know she's in the right or anything or her depression it made it right no but there's a moment where she snapped. Let me let me find out here what's going on with La Llorona. Okay, so Spirit, why is the tower here for La Llorona? I'm 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 guessing she had a drinking problem or a drug problem. Obviously, I don't think drugs existed back then, but there's some sort of substance that I see her. She either wanted to poison her children, she either poisoned them and threw them in the river. Because I see here like potions, 
or she actually poisoned herself. I don't know how she took her life. I, to be honest with you, I'm going to ask. Why is the tower card here? I think she poisoned herself. Okay, so, woo, why is the tower card here, Spirit? Why is the tower card here for La Llorona, please? Why is the tower card here for La Llorona? A man did her wrong, broke her heart. That caused her to, either he had to leave because he had some sort of work commitment or he left with another woman. There's a, I'm guessing there's another woman here because there's the three of swords. That means betrayal. That's heartbreak. And that's actually a third party. So I feel like this man here, um, it's somebody that her family wanted her to marry or something. Maybe he had money. I don't know what it is. Or maybe he was important. But this man actually broke her heart. Something happened where she snapped. Okay. Well, let me see. Why is this card here? I'm going to check, check in a moment. Seven of Cups. Spirit, why is the Seven of Cups here for La Llorona? Why is this here for La Llorona? Seven of Cups for La Llorona. Why is the Seven of Cups here for La Llorona, please? Why is the Seven of Cups here for La Llorona? She was ill. She made herself ill. She died of illness. Something happened where she died. Like, she died instantly or something like that. Why is the Seven of Cups? She, oh my God, okay, never mind. This is her, this is her feeling left out of the village. A cast, cast out of the village, also feeling like, uh, okay, why is this card here for La Llorona? Oh, wow. Somebody put a hex on her. I think she, she was cursed by some magician for what she did. Why is the Seven of Cups here for La Llorona? Oh, wow. Okay. Why is the cur okay, Seven of Cups here for La Llorona? Seven of Cups here for La Llorona, please. Why? Yes. Somebody put a curse on her. That's why she hasn't been able to be free. Someone put a curse on her. Some sort of witch here in the village actually cursed her for, for what she did. Or cursed her so she would lose her husband and go crazy. There's some sort of something to do with witchcraft here. See, there's two magician cards here. This is a sorceress and a sorcerer. Somebody attacked her, something like, but she was already kind of mentally ill. Okay, so that makes a lot of sense. Um, she has some sort of depression issue. Um, okay, so there, that's her right here. Or that could be her right here. I'm not sure. But she was close to a woman here. And I do feel like... Um, I feel like this is maybe her or or maybe this is her. I'm not sure which one is her. But basically, um, there was someone close to her that she confided in. And so I asked Spirit again because I pulled, I used another deck. Okay, so I used another deck to clarify the two women. Uh, I mean, the whole situation again. I got these two women here. So you see how like she's has like a like she's drinking at the bar. Like I'm assuming this is a like Yorona and this is like some woman. This woman confided in someone, drank a lot, but I don't know. This woman is kind of sketch. Or maybe she had someone she only could confide in. Okay. This is her. I feel like she was in her 20s when this happened. Like she was fairly young. She was still young. Okay, so that's her, yeah, that's her children. Okay, so, see, yeah, she's, it's almost like, it's almost like this man here. Let me move this. 
This man here was her husband. He came from a wealthy family or he was like uh, good to like, you know, he was educated, more educated than her maybe. Um, and he, he left. He left for another, I feel like, okay. So let's see here. Spirit, who is this man for La Llorona? Who is this man? Who is this man in the in the card deck here for La Llorona? Wish. Oh, it was the love of her life. It was somebody that she loved dearly. And this okay, so who else? Okay, please clarify this card, please. Why is this guy um what happened to him? Oh, he was, he left. He was a wanderer. He liked to, he didn't like to stay in one place. He traveled a lot. Why is this guy here? Who is he? La Llorona. Yeah, he left her for another woman. Here's another woman right here. Or something to do with, yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm getting. I could be wrong. I, I really don't know the story too much, the details about La Llorona. Even though all, all I did was hear about her growing up. I mean, Hispanic moms used to scare the crap out of you with her. Uh, but anyway, here's the witch I was talking about. So there's some sort of person here. She found out some sort of secret information here. There's a lot of mystery around. Okay, so. There's a lot of weird energy around her. See, it's almost like she's depressed here already, drinking a lot. Um, something was going on. She couldn't cope. Here's that person again, that king of, this is her husband. Or the person that left her. Okay, so this is kind of like sketch energy. Like this, this right here was like, she found out some secret information about some sort of betrayal here. And this drove her over the edge. This was, um... See, this is her by the river. She either committed suicide because there was no communication from this person and uh, she was already depressed because of the drinking problem or the blues she had. She has some sort of depression here. And this is her by the... So this happened in the water. So it's almost like she was like binded in some sort of way by this these witches these people she there was like a binding here so either there's a witch that did something to separate her from her husband and cause her problems or this happened after she was she was damned you know like after she died or or commit the crime and then she took her life but then like it it would it Maybe it was a result of all this stuff that was done to her. But there's some sort of a binding here. Um, there also, uh, this is her wandering and searching for um, for some sort of peace. Like she's looking for some sort of peace and she can't find it. She can't find it. She has a blindfold on. That's sad. Okay. But bottom of the deck, I'm getting uh, she will have peace someday. She will be reunited with her loved ones and her family. She's earthbound. She has not ascended to, to heaven, okay? Pretty much she's stuck in hell, which is earth, right? It's earth energy. Um, when you can't move forward, when you can't ascend to higher realms, it's you're earthbound. You're, you're in hell, right? Um, hell is earth, <laughs> okay? So where do you think the demons live? They live here. All right, so let's just ask if she'll ever move on. If she'll, ever, I, I saw eight hundred years of being in the state until she she ascends and reincarnates again, and then does it over. 
And then like, you know, okay. So spirit, I want to ask. So it's like, you know, I'm barely shuffling. What's going to happen to the future of La Llorona, this woman? What is going to happen to her? It's almost like she, she wants people to pray for her or to hear her. Okay. Um, okay, so Yorona, what's the future with her spirit? What will happen? Will she ever be at peace? Yorona. Will she ever ascend? She's stuck. Okay. Will she ever uh, move on into the next incarnation? Instead of being in Bordeaux, which is uh, like uh, purgatory, okay, spirit. Will she ever get out of this energy, La Llorona? Oh. Looks like she will. Okay, La Llorona. Will she ever be free? What's the future of her spirit? La Llorona, La Llorona. Will she be free? Will she ascend to heaven? Will she be able to move on? La Llorona, La Llorona, La Llorona. Okay. La Llorona. Will she be free? Bottom of the deck. She likes like rural areas. That's what I'm showing here. There she is. It's almost like this witch has this curse on her right here. See? La Llorona. This is her suffering in the past. There she is. She doesn't know what way to go. She's lost. She's lost. There will be uh, someone to guide her soon on the other side. Hmm. I'm guessing like 500 more years. She'll be able to move on. Something like that. So this is her child right here. So she will be reunited with her child. She's already, like, I think her children already forgave her. But she hasn't released it. She hasn't accepted it because she doesn't know. It's like she's, she's, um, she understands what she did wrong. And so do they, but it's like she's still holding on to earth energy. But I am I am seeing here that there's some sort of a, still like some sort of a spell or some sort of a witch energy that is blocking her from moving forward. So something was done to her, I think, because um, well, that's her right here. Okay, so that is La Llorona for you. That's um, the reading on her. Hope you guys liked it, and um, I hope you guys enjoy your Halloween, which is uh, tomorrow. No, yeah, tomorrow. And I will talk to you later. See you in the next video. Bye.